you know. Um, so, uh, let's see. I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Why are the princes walking as servants upon the earth? Go to Isaiah. Because um, when you go into the book of uh, Deuteronomy in the 28th chapter, verses 1 through 14 are blessings, right? Verse 15 speaks about how we're going to uh, receive curses if we don't hearken unto the uh, the voice of the Lord, you know? The voice of Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is uh, why we're in the predicament that we're in right now. You know, that's why we're in slavery, you know, under the Edomites, okay? Uh, this is Isaiah 42 and 24. Uh, let's see, who gave Jacob for spoils? Uh, Jacob is indicative of what, the, uh, you know, the, the, the Israelites, okay? So, uh, Isaiah 42 and 24. Uh, who gave who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers, right? Did not Yahweh, uh, he against whom we have sinned, right? Because we sinned against the Lord, you know? Like I said, when you go to the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, verse 15, might as well go to it. Uh, it speaks about how these curses are going to come upon us because for, for, uh, for not listening. To the Lord. Here it is. Deuteronomy 20 and 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of uh, Yahweh thy power. To observe. To do all his commandments. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee. And overtake thee. Right. And then all these curses. Uh, you know. From 15. From uh, 16 to 68. Uh, befell the nation of Israel. Okay. Uh, so back to Isaiah. Twenty uh, Isaiah forty two and twenty four, who gave Jacob for his spoil and Israel to the robbers? Right, did not Yahweh, he against whom we have sinned? Right, we did sin against the Lord, for they would not walk in His ways. Right, Israel didn't listen. Uh, neither were they obedient unto His law. Right, which is um what happened to us, you know. Uh. You know, we, we, we didn't listen to, to uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, so we went into slavery, and we're still in slavery to this day, okay? Now I'm going to go to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and the... Let me think, which one should I get real quick? Uh, I'm going to go to 37, because, you know... uh. Let me just read this real quick. Deuteronomy 20 and 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Right. Among all, Salaki, a proverb and a byword among all the nations, whether Yahweh shall lead thee. Right. And, you know, that's why we're being called Negroes. That's why we're being called black African Americans, uh, Latinos, uh, Mexicans, you know, all those, you know, Proverbs, proverb, pro proverbs, Salakia. Um, so, let me see if uh, back to Ecclesiastes. One second. So back to Ecclesiastes. Uh. So yeah, yeah, Ecclesiastes ten and seven. I've seen servants upon horses, Salakia. I was just making sure I got the precepts I wanted to get. Uh. Ecclesiastes 10 and 7, I've seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth, right? And we're walking as servants upon the earth uh, because, you know, we didn't listen. You know, we, we went into slavery. The curses fell upon us. And, you know, now we're just waiting on our deliverance from the Lord and Savior, Yahawashai, Mashayak. Okay. So, um, making slaki, I'm just making sure I got all the precepts on it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to get. It's in the Apocrypha, Salakia. Uh, this is uh, Second Esdras. Because I wanted to get this preset because, you know, we're under uh, these heathen right now. We're, we're, we're uh, you know, we're, 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 right now we're, we're, um, we're princes, you know, you're walking as servants under these, these, these heathen, okay? 
This is Second Ezra six and fifty seven. And now, O Lord, behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing. Let's stop right there, right? These heathen, which are you know, the the nations that aren't Israelites, which have you know they're they're nothing, okay. Have begun and have, so like let me keep reading. Have begun to be lords over us and devour us, okay. Which uh you know which which is uh you know we've been in slavery under these heathen, all right. So like more specifically, the Edomites right now they're in rulership. So let's go back to Ecclesiastes just to go over what we uh went into. So uh, Ecclesiastes ten and five. There's an evil which I have seen under the sun. Talking about an evil which is you know. Here on earth, because under the sun is the earth, right? As an error which proceedeth from the ruler, right? The the, the Edomites are, is is uh they're in rulership, like we mentioned earlier. You know that that error comes out of the Edomites. You know all, all they do is um everything they do is evil. The scriptures say they they are uh as death. You know. Uh, so like it, um. So you know. Then I believe this. Uh, I think this is in Habakkuk, the second chapter. It's a lot, yeah. Habakkuk 2 and 5. Habakkuk 2 and 5. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Talking about the Edomites, right? Neither keepeth at home who enlargeth. And Salakia enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death, right? Because these Edomites, you know, everywhere they go is they just bring death, you know, these chemtrails, the food is defiled, you know. And uh, real quick, that wine is talking about, you know, transgressed by wine. That wine is talking about their philosophies, you know, their their wicked philosophies. Everywhere they go, they're, they're, they're uh, you know, how we read folly is set in great dignity in, in Ecclesiastes, the, t the, the 10th chapter, right? You know, they they um they set everything that's uh, uh incorrect, everything that's wrong, they, they put it up on high. You know, their philosophies, their democracies and, and, and all that wickedness, you know. Oh, let me think uh, I just thought of a precept real quick. Uh is that the one? Yeah, Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's what, you know, the Edomites are doing. That's what they do. They, they call everything that is, um, they call everything good bad and everything bad good. You know, they they uphold homosexuality, you know, all that, you know, wickedness, man. Uh, you know, they legalize uh, 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 the most wickedest things, you know, bestiality, all that wickedness, man. Okay. Uh, and, uh, let's see. Wine, like I said, wine is talking about uh, their philosophies. Uh, let me keep reading. He is a proud man. Neither keepeth at home. You know, these Edomites, you know, they go everywhere, man. Everywhere they go, they rape, they rob, and they murder, man. Uh, who enlargeth his desire as hell and is as death. <laughs> they, and they are as death. Okay. I'm going to keep reading. And cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Right. Uh, back to Ecclesiastes. Salakia. Oh, Salakia. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10. And we read 5, 6. Folly set in great dignity. Right. Foolish. Unwise conduct or behavior is set on high, is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. The rich being the Israelites, rich in rich in faith, you know, we're heirs to the kingdom. Okay, starting with the elect and the one third. So like it started with the elect and the one third to be delivered. Um uh rich sit in low place. Verse seven, I have seen servants upon horses, the servants of the Edomites, pursuant to the book of Genesis, the twenty fifth chapter. They were the firstborn, and you know the elders shall serve the younger, like it says in Genesis the twenty fifth chapter. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. The princes are the Israelites. Yashar Allah. Meaning he prints power. He is the prince of the power. Walking as servants upon the earth. We're in slavery right now. Okay. Uh, and that's basically what I wanted to go into. So call Allah Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Call Allah Yahweh Shemiah Shai. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And uh, peace, salutations, and blessings to the elect. 
and uh, Shalom.